Oh, how I have missed this game. Damn, man. For those of you that don't know because you watch my other videos like Battlefront or whatever, I still to this day consider MW2 to be the greatest game of all time right next to World at War. It just... It feels right playing this game. I feel at home, so to speak, when I go back and play this game. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that very often because I play all of my games on Xbox One and if you know anything about playing MW2 on Xbox One, you know it's damn near impossible to actually play the game. And that's what we are going to talk about. So first off, why is it nearly unplayable? Well, take a look at the gameplay in this video. Several times throughout this video you are going to notice horrible lag. In fact, it costed me a nice kill streak towards the end of this match. But yeah, the lag when you were playing on Xbox One on this game in particular is twice as bad as it is on the Xbox 360. I mean, sure, it did get laggy back in the day on the 360, but how can I put this? It's as if somebody that's playing on the 360 has a full second advantage over the guy that's playing on the Xbox One. Somebody will literally come around a corner and sometimes you won't even see the guy before he kills you. Either that or he will lag so hard across your screen, you won't have a chance in hell of hitting any of your shots. It happens all the time. And I mean, what you were seeing in this video, this would still be considered a good lobby, believe it or not. I've been in many lobbies that have been far worse than this. And in many of them, in fact, almost all of the lobbies, everybody still maintains a 3-bar or 4-bar connection. I understand some people have trash internet, trust me, I've seen it all when it comes to gaming, but it's crazy how the game says everyone still has a 4-bar, and yet some players are lagging so bad, it's like they're from Brazil in the middle of a goddamn rainforest. It's insane how bad it is on Xbox One. Microsoft hasn't done anything about it, I know there was an update a while back for Xbox One for this game, but that didn't do anything to help. And that just leaves many of us wondering, are we ever going to see this game in a working state or playable ever again? Because so many people like myself have completely moved on from the Xbox 360. And even if you still play this on the 360, you still are going to see hacks, mods, and everything else come up. Sure, that's a separate issue, and I'm not going to even begin to talk about that. But that does contribute to this game being damn near unplayable especially when it comes to frozen classes or frozen accounts. I just want to be able to play this game. Sure, I can try and play this, but really the only way I won't lag on Xbox One on this game is if I pull host or somebody that I am playing with that has a great internet connection manages to grab host. That's the only way to play it. In fact, it's the only way I managed to upload a video of this game the other day. First video of this game in nearly two years because of the connection problems and hacks. And hear me out, I have good internet. Everything I have set up is on a wired connection. I even have a SSD. In other words, my Xbox One runs better than a Xbox One X does. You can't really have a better possible setup on Xbox One, and I still have all these issues with this game. Another thing worth mentioning is the players. So if you play MW2 on Xbox One, you are only going to run into other Xbox One players, which is a big part of the problem. I never run into 360 players or get into the same lobby as them, ever. The only way I can play with them is if they invite me or if I join their session in progress. So the player count seems like it almost has no players at all on the Xbox One, because you can't connect to the 360 players, which means you're going to end up waiting 5 to 10 minutes just to get a lobby started. And that leads to running into the same players. There's this guy called Cod Jobs or whatever the hell his gamer tag is. I'm telling you, I run into that guy 90% of the time I play this game, and I'm not making that up. Almost every single time I play this game, I run into that one player and a handful of others. And the only reason I memorize that guy's gamer tag is because he's a noob tubing 
camping son of a bitch. I mean, imagine running into the same piece of shit every single time you play this game and he's using all that cheap bullshit in every single lobby he plays in. I love this game, but nobody has the patience for that. And like I said earlier, Microsoft hasn't done a damn thing with the connection either. And this is my favorite game of all time. When I see a billion dollar company not even lift a finger to help out their customers or to better their experience, that's the part that pisses me off the most. I watched a video the other day, I can't remember the name of the channel, but the title of the video was Playing MW2 in 2019 on PS3. Long story short, that guy said MW2 is more playable on Xbox than it is on PlayStation. And he even admitted there was more hackers on Xbox. Like, bro, I don't know what your drug of choice is, but you better stop doing that shit before you jump off a cliff because you think you can fly. I mean, seriously, come and try playing this shit on Xbox, dude. I guarantee you, you would run back to PlayStation after an hour of trying to play this shit on Xbox. It works better on PS3 than it does on both the Xbox 360 and Xbox One, from what I've seen. But let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. I really hope MW2 Remastered comes out soon. I'm tired of waiting for it. I just hope we're going to be able to play this once in a generation type of game five years from now. Because right now, it's pretty much unplayable. And it's not even available on PS4 still. That's all I got for this video, guys. Leave a rating on the video, comment down below, subscribe, and we'll catch you all later.